Mary catch me outside. The new Tamron 20 to 40 millimeter f2.8. Look at how small it is. Can't be any good, can it? Let's find out. It's a bit of a problem over there. Is this a production unit? Doesn't say not for sale. So I'm gonna say that this is a production unit. Tamron sent us this, we don't get to keep it. And no money changed hands. No money changed hands. No money changed hands. Which means we spent all of our money to come here. And none of that is recouped from Tamron. There are links to raw files in the description if you wanna go download and play with some on your own. But let's go for a bit of a walk through Marrakesh. So this lens is incredibly versatile for travel photography because it is wide. So if you wish, you can vlog. This is, this is vlog lens, 20 millimeter vlog lens. Vlog test. Here we are in our Airbnb. And uh, you'll actually discover that we have a pool in the living room of our Airbnb. I have active stabilization set to on and I am at 20 millimeters. Let's walk down the stairs, shall we? A little bit underexposed, but there, just got better. And here we are. Wow, right? There's the pool I told you about. And this concludes the vlog test. It's gonna go in the timeline right here. Also, just for an everyday walk around lens, it is incredibly useful. Whether you have found yourself in a lower light environment like we're in now, f2.8 aperture is gonna make that nice and bright. Or if it's middle of the day, I don't know. I guess you, you know what it is, you know, 20 to 40. That's what it is. Here's our ride. The cost of this lens, $699. $700, which is ironically the same cost as my subscription to Boots and Gloves monthly magazine. I tried to come up with a joke about the guy on the scooter. Until Black Friday, you can get in on the member's website. This is the, the ad part of the video. Get in on the member's website, which is access to all of my content that I've ever made, all of my courses. You get my full preset collection, all the presets you're seeing on these photos. If you're a wedding photographer specifically or want to get into wedding photography, I would 100% recommend that you check them out because they've helped thousands of people all around the world make millions of dollars. And you can get in until Black Friday. After Black Friday, you can still get in. You just have to sign up for the annual rate rather than the monthly. So that's the change. Let's go back to doing photos. I miss that guy. This lens, the front thread, if you're into using filters, 67 millimeters, which is two millimeters away from 69. Also, it weighs 365 grams, which is one gram for every day of the year. This uh, lens has the same USB-C hole as the 35 to 150. When you look at it, you're like, wow, that's just a hole in the side of the body. This can't be weather sealed. It's weather sealed from the inside. Um, it's actually quite properly weather sealed and I would be happy to take it out. I hope it doesn't rain, but if it were to rain, I feel like that's fine. I'd be confident in some, some light mist. Anything you'd be confident with your camera out there in? I feel like you'd be confident with this, this lens. Speaking of the Tamron 35 to 150, this lens here, the, the 20 to 40, is an incredible companion to it. As you can see on this lens, no buttons. I would have liked an AF, MF button, just autofocus, manual focus, but you can set that to one of your, your buttons on the camera. Something that would have been nice to have, but I don't know, not a deal breaker by any means. As far as usefulness goes, it's just an incredibly useful lens, especially when you're out here uh, on a day like this that just kind of does everything that you would realistically need. Maybe you want to bring an 85 as well for those more telephoto, maybe portraits, but for most of the day, this is kind of that perfect walk around lens. When it comes to close focusing distance, let's, uh, let's demonstrate on this table here. Close focusing at 20 millimeters. How close can you get? Still in focus. Still in fo right there. there. There's the line. You're basically touching it. Here's a photo so you can see the beautiful background bouquet. And then when you're at 40, closest focus point is about realistically here. The, uh, the videos you've been seeing are in standard picture profile. Typically I would shoot an S Cinetone. Obviously that profile is going to change the color palette. And I will say overall the color palette from this lens is quite pleasing. I've liked all Tamron lenses. I find them, I don't know, just smooth for lack of a better description. Um, not out of focus, just everything feels smooth and soft and nice and cinematic. Same goes with video. I also have active stabilization set up. So if you are someone that uses active stabilization, 
it gives a little bit of a crop in the camera here. So if you have 20, your 20 is maybe a little bit more like a 24 when using active stabilization, but to have a 24 is kind of nice. So you have a 24 to 40, whatever, if you are using active stabilization. So here's a little, little sample clip for you. Wow, right? Try to show me your face like that, yeah, right there. About 20. And zooming in. There you go. Photo of cart at f2.8. As you can see, there is a little bit of distortion at 20. And at 20, the distortion is actually a little bit complex. When you get to 40, it becomes more kind of pincushion-ish and a little easier to correct. At some point in the near future, there will be Lightroom profiles to just correct for it. So it's not really a problem, but if you're going for those straight out of JPEGs, know that there's gonna be a little bit of weird distortion going on. Everything's very easy to photograph here. Not supposed to shoot the butts in street photography, but today we're doing it because I'm giving you these photos and I don't necessarily want to give you photos of people's faces. Cat photographer. Here's a quick sample image of a bright LED light actually pointed at the camera. Maybe not the best composition in the world, but gives you a, a feeling for the flare characteristics. So I'll go down to 0.8. And there's not really any flare, or any ghost. Great first night with the Tamron 20 to 40. I am not much of a street photographer and there is an overwhelming amount of stuff going on here. But in the raw files, I do hope that they're useful and, and beneficial for you. Let me go back to, to looking at this. This is madness. There you have it, the Tamron 20 to 40 millimeter f2.8. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Don't forget to go grab those raw files if you are interested. And also the members website, Black Friday. Starting Black Friday, you can no longer sign up for the monthly. You have to go for the annual. So if you wanna get on the monthly membership, get the presets, get all of my wedding photography courses, travel courses, you can head on over to the members website right now. See you again next time.